Uh, next, let's just look real quick at uh, my time-based effects. Time-based effects, these fun effects that have to do with the tempo of the song. So like delay, for example, what delay is? It's like an echo sound. So it's going to echo at the same rate of whatever the tempo is set. So my tempo is set to 125. It's going to bounce eighth notes on the grid. So <laughs> as as the echoes happen, they're actually in time with the music. That's time-based effects. My reverb, oh, favorite of all time, Valhalla. Uh, there's all kinds of settings that you can do. Um, there's plates, there's rooms, there's big spaces, you know, cathedrals, dens. All right, oh my God, the, Valhalla has an insane amount of presets. I almost always use a cathedral setting. I just love the way it sounds. I was using the Basila of Santo Spirito, or Spirito. Uh, so let's... Let's click it again, and I think I probably made some changes. So let's see. Ah, uh, yes, yes, it did. I turn off the pre-delay. I don't want the reverb to start 15 milliseconds later. I want it to start right away. So I just put that to zero. Um, that's my personal preference. Decay is the big parameter that you really want to pay attention to. Cathedrals are always going to be really, really long decays. So that means you're going to keep hearing that reverberation for 11.6 seconds. That's very long. We don't need it that long. So I'll probably dial this back to like five. Um, so use your judgment. And then um, the way we have everything routed, we want our mix to be 100%. Uh, mix is how much of this plugin do we want to be hearing. We do want it to be at 100% uh, when we're routing this way because then we're going to send just some of it. So we're not going to hear 100%. We're just going to hear some of it. Let's hear what it sounds like when we adjust our reverb settings. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Ooh, Ooh, how are we going to make it through it? What's it going to take to do it? Ma, ma, ma. Ma, 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 ma. Ooh, how do we okay, so that's reverb. And then delay. I have... One, two, three, four. I have four delays, okay? Uh, this is how I do it. I have an eighth note delay, a quarter note delay, and a half note delay. Uh, actually, this one is doing a funky thing. It's doing a half note and a quarter note. Um, so half note's coming out one side, and a quarter note's coming out the other side. And then this one is my, I call it my double E delay. It's, it's a half note, but then I also have an additional plugin. It's adding this micro shift sound just to the half note delay. So that's pretty cool. And then this one's the chorus. You would find this in your delay folder. I have a Valhalla delay. Let's see what that's like. Yay, Valhalla. Um... Presets. Well, okay, so I guess it has like these funky presets. Valhalla Delay looks like it also has reverb effect. So I don't know if we need all that. Um, so that's probably why I chose not to use this because I'm already reverbing the crap out of this song. But uh, let's just go to our echoes uh, and let's just find a basic delay. Let's see. Digital eighth note delay. Let's listen to what that sounds like. And then we'll make adjustments. And I have to mute all these. Just the short delay. My, my, my. Ooh, wee. So you can hear it. It's like the wee, 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 wee. This is the eighth note. So uh, to control um, how many times it delays is called feedback. So I want to turn this up because I maybe wanted to to keep going a little longer. My, my, my. Ooh, wee. I gotta warn you. Uh, if you have it set to 100% feedback. Uh, it will go for infinity. So you don't want that. So make sure you don't go too, too far. Uh, so I'll keep it maybe around 60%, 50%. And then my mix is 100% because I'm controlling it from the fader. Then the delay is a knob. This is going to change the rate. Uh, so I can change it to the quarter note. My, my, my. Ooh, wee. My, my, my. Ooh, wee. Super cool. You can even do a whole note delay. 
my 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 Ooh-wee. Yeah, so I don't really do a whole note. I feel like that's like too long. Half note is pretty much the longest I'll go. So yeah, that's what a delay is doing, is just uh, creating this echoey thing. And that's going to, again, contribute to the stereo field because it's going to make it feel like it's far away and is bouncing off walls, right? It's fun to have multiple delays, and that's going to give your track a lot of spatialness. Spatialness? We're going to go with it. Okay, so I just changed my short delay. I'm going to make sure I keep that at an eighth note. I actually really like the way this sounds. I might switch back to Valhalla delays. So I'm going to copy this delay over to my medium delay, which is a quarter note. I'm just going to change the quarter note. This is all I do for my delays. And then I'm going to change that to a half note. And I'm going to leave this because it's doing some funky stuff. This is my like funkier delay setting. So I'm going to leave that as is. And then we get to control everything by the sends. So let's do that. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Ooh, how are we going to make it through it? What's it going to take to do it? Ma, ma, ma. Ma, 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 ma. Whoa. Whoa. This way, where's it gonna go? My, 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 my. Ooh, we, ooh, how we gonna make it through it? What's it gonna take to do it? My, 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 my. Ooh, we, ooh, how we gonna make it through it? What's it gonna take to do it? My, 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 my. Oh, how do we ever get this way? Where's it gonna go? My, my. Okay, my theory on delay, I almost do not want to hear the delays in the mix. Uh, it's just to give it this texture and you almost don't even hear it. So I was dialing them way back. Reverb, I let the reverb shine a bit more, but the delays I like to turn down quite a bit. And then we already went over uh, chorus. I just put chorus on my VGVs. So you can see I do not put it on the lead. And I have it kind of high. <laughs> uh, let's see what it sounds like. Just the backgrounds, and then maybe I'll turn it up and down a bit and see what that's going to sound like. So nothing. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. It's really subtle, even with like almost 100% of the effect. Uh, it's very, very subtle. Um, and I also have Pan Man going on. So it's it's also doing this like very minimal oscillation thing where it's like kind of panning it a little bit. 